Some high profile legal experts are joining the fight in support of one of Oklahoma's most famous convicts. Tonight, we have an update on the case of Tommy Ward. Ward is serving a life sentence for a murder he swears he did not commit. The murder of Denise Haraway in Ada in 1984. Ward's case is one of several in Pontotoc County under worldwide scrutiny. Ward's conviction, Ward's conviction was the focus of the Netflix documentary, The Innocent Man. It was also one of several murder cases in Ada called into question as part of a John Grisham book. And now two groups of high profile attorneys are asking the court for permission to chime in on the case. The lawyers have filed a motion asking the court to allow a friend of the court brief in support of Tommy Ward. These are some well-known names here in Oklahoma. Andrew Coates, former Oklahoma City Mayor and Dean of the OU College of Law. Judge Robert Henry, former Attorney General and Dean of the Oklahoma City Law School. And Arthur LeFrancois, retired criminal law professor at OCU. And I think it, it signifies the importance of this particular case, not just for Tommy Ward, but for anybody else who is convicted and later finds out that there was wrongdoing or mistakes, innocent mistakes that may have happened at the trial that are only later discovered, they should be able to be considered. Uh, the last thing we want is for innocent people to be convicted. And the Oklahoma Innocence Project has also asked to file a brief on behalf of Tommy Ward. Ward's legal team won a huge victory last year when a trial judge looked at evidence in the case and found the conviction should be overturned. The judge ruled the state withheld 800 pages of evidence in Ward's trial. The state attorney general is appealing that ruling. Tommy Ward remains in prison.